Getting up to speed with StreamYard, this series is for you. We'll cover every function and feature in the platform, but in this particular video, we're gonna be taking a look at scenes, we're looking at layouts, hotkeys, and hopefully we'll get a chance to go live. Understanding the Studio, part two. Let's dive in. So here we are on the dashboard again, and this everything on the, you see on this side here that I'm highlighting and everything in this section here, we have touched on in the previous video, Understanding the Studio Part 1. And so would love for you to be able to check that out. I'll put a card up at the top here for you to be able to do that. So I wanted to make sure that that is covered, but we're diving right back in where we left off. Um, scenes and layouts are... Uh, two of the latest features from StreamYard, and I have to tell you, these features are absolutely critical when it comes on to um, setting up your workflow, setting up your stream flow, your show flow, recording flow, right? And really putting your fingerprint on what it looks like um, in terms of what people are seeing at any given time. Um, scenes, if you are unaware, unfamiliar with them, are a is a series of layouts, a uh, series of of assets and overlays that are configured in a particular way and it stays that way. However you set it up, it stays that way. And so what you are even seeing on screen right now, even though I am using Ecamm to record these videos, is a scene and I'm actually moving between a full screen scene of myself and a scene with StreamYard on the side and my camera cropped. Then you have, you know, the masterclass link down at the bottom uh, and a, a picture, an image of my studio behind all of it. That's kind of transparently there. So all of that is built into a scene and that's what we're going to go into as we look at what is possible with scenes. Now, Scenes is great, but layouts is what takes it to the next level. And layouts is where we have to start because layouts uh, is a standard functionality that comes with StreamYard. And so for those that are like, oh, man, I really wanted to hear a little more on scenes there. I have videos, plural, on scenes, but I have to take you through layouts first. And these layouts are the ones that are default right out of the box from StreamYard. I'm highlighting them on the screen right now. And I've even added a second camera to to uh, to StreamYard by going here to present. You can go to where it says extra camera right now mine says stop extra camera but um really if, if if you go to this you'll see add extra camera when you go there you'll be able to go in and pick your extra camera i've added an extra camera and what that allows me to do it kind of showcase allows me to showcase some of the layouts that we have in the system so here i'm i'm just putting this on the group layout right so you see that the two uh videos are are next to one another um, i'm also going to select a background right so that it kind of has a, a bit more of a branded look i can select either one of these i'm going to keep this one it's a little little less busy and so you have these ba this background behind me right so you have the background here i'm using the group layout but i could also use the cropped layout right cropped layout and that crops in on both of the cameras my top down shot and of course my, my my other camera and it crops in on it so you're just seeing a subset of that camera which is really cool cool now you also have the solo layout and in solo layout it's just going to pick your number one camera but in addition you have the ability to click solo layout here on your other camera so i can click solo layout on that one that almost gives you a switcher right so layouts came with Streamyard to begin with and layouts is super critical to understand because this is how you will change things, how you move things around um, inside the studio. If I go to the group layout, now it allows you to spotlight a particular video. And in this case, it's spotlighting mine, but you can always click and drag to switch them around. And to be clear, 
your audience that is watching on YouTube or watching online, Facebook, LinkedIn, wherever, they're not seeing your mouse move around. They're not seeing, you know, that blue line or any of that stuff. They just see the very smooth movement that is made. That's the animation that StreamYard has built in for the viewers to see, especially if you have one that's making a point, you want to make that prominent. Another layout is the news layout. And the news layout is for you to be able to utilize, maybe you're sharing a screen, right? You can share your screen here, you can share an image file, you can share a video, or you can actually load up a presentation that you already have as a PDF. And I have several loaded in here, saved in here as PDF. And I wanna say right here, that is the best way to do this, y'all. If you're wanting, like so many people ask, man, I wanna share this screen, but I only have one monitor, or I wanna share this screen, but going back and forth between my main monitor and my secondary monitor, sometimes it gets confusing. I tell people when you're using StreamYard, you wanna use a presentation, export your presentation as a PDF. Yes, it won't have necessarily the animations, but that to me is not as critical as it being a smooth flowing program, right? So export it as a PDF from whether it's PowerPoint, Keynote, slides from Google, or if you're using Canva, export it as a PDF and then upload it uh, to the system, as you see here, I've got several already uploaded. I'm going to bring one on screen and it's called uh, studio setup. So I bring that on screen and now you can see in this news layout that my slides are here and then my camera's on the other side. If I want to have both myself and the guest and the slides on screen, I can go to the screen layout, right? So we were just kind of making our way down. We went to solo, we went to cropped, we went to group, then we went to spotlight, and we went to news layout, right? That was this one. Now we're on screen layout. And again, you can still move these up and down. Can't necessarily switch between there and the presentation. But the, this, this whole section here that you see that says slide and it has the arrows, that is not visible to your audience that is watching online. That's only visible to you inside the studio. You can select a particular slide. If you know which slide you wanna jump to, that makes it really super useful. Again, this is the PDF functionality and you can just click through or use your keyboard to go through your different slides there as well. Lastly, you also have the picture in picture layout and picture in picture. You can see that the video, the, the two cameras are on the bottom here. And then you have all this space already defined for the for the presentation. Then you also have the cinema layout in the same cinema layout. It just shows the presentation, whether it's a graphic, whether it's a screen share, whether it's a shared video. Right. All of those would play in the cinema layout full screen. Um, you your your audio would still be able to be heard in that layout, but your uh, you your camera would not be seen. In, in addition to these uh, default layouts that you have, StreamYard has added the uh, functionality for us to be able to set up our own layouts. And so you can click the plus sign and it'll give you a blank slate and you can design a layout in whatever way you see fit. And I have a couple of those already defined. You'll see that by hitting, by hitting the arrow here, I get some of the other layouts that I have. And these are all the ones that I've designed. This layout is um, using the same slides. I just have myself in a circle and I'm off to the side here and I can kind of just, you know, have my layout. Now, the other thing that I have done, and this is a great hack for several of you, is I have created um, a layout, or I created my slides in a way that has a space in the slide for me to add my camera. So if I hit edit on this layout, um, I can actually make this, uh, this slide presentation, that let it take up the full screen, then move my camera here, change it from a circle back to a rectangle, right? So it's normal size and make it a little bit bigger. This, this whole space in the presentation um, has been designed for me to put my camera right on top. And I can do that and um, go through my slides. I can actually say save here. Um, I can save as a new layout. And then when I'm ready for that, I can actually select it here. So that's the new layout. And you can see that I can go, all my slides are here. And again, because I designed my slides in a way to have my camera on top, 
that is a really cool way for me to be able to engage. So that's another yet another layout. And in I'm kind of stacking some things because you can also see how you can edit a layout um, and then save it as a new layout and still have, right, I'm going back to the original layout, the way that it was defined or designed before. Um, and if you want to, you want, one of the things you want to keep in mind here is that uh, for these screen share slots, what StreamYard calls them is the media slot. And so in these default layouts, this news layout, the screen layout, the picture in picture layout and the cinema layout, these are all media slots. So what do I mean by that? If I take the slideshow down and I add my, my, this is just a graphic. This is just a graphic image. I can go back to news layout. I can go to screen layout. I can go to picture in picture. This is the cinema layout. They all work with that with with whatever I have used in the media slot and anything that you bring in with the present button, whether it's a image file, video file or a PDF, they all work as a media slot. And so this would be one of the ways that you do that. I can make this big. And of course, I just pause right here and say, if you haven't already, make sure you join us for the next masterclass, uh, your next video done. Let's remove the friction so your content can flow. So this is, I'm going to move back here, go back to my custom layouts. And you can see that it even still works with the custom layout um, in that way as well. So if it's not designed for it, but I can also put a video in that slot. Okay, and so this video has the same file in there, but you can see I can go to the news layout, video works, uh, the screen layout, video works, the picture in picture layout, the video works, and the cinema layout, video works. It is a media slot, and in the media slot, anything that you upload, um, and, and to be clear, I'm sharing this from my computer and not necessarily playing it from um, the media assets area that we have here inside StreamYard. I'm sharing this directly from the computer, um, and so you have you have some 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 added functionality that you can utilize there. <laughs> Another thing that is really cool as we're talking about stacking is if you have a background like this one here that I have here, I can click on this one right here. You can see what that looks like in the background section, but you can't necessarily see it because I'm on a layout that isn't showing it. And so if I go to the news layout, you'll see that that background is there. But if I go to this custom layout number six, you'll see now that that video, uh, I, I didn't realize the audio was playing. You'll see now that that uh, video is still in the slot, the media slot. Um, if I take, take the video down and put my presentation up, it's, it still sit, fits in the media slot. My camera is off to the side above the cup. And again, this, this is utilizing the background, utilizing a custom layout where I have my camera here and I have a media slot here. And that's, this is what I mean by stacking. We're now stacking some of the functionality that I have been kind of walking you through um, throughout this series. And of course, I, 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 I've walked through, you know, the dashboard, we've, we've talked you through um, utilizing the studio part one, and we went through all the tabs and settings, um, whether it's media asset style, private chat, uh, recording, banners, comments. Now today, we're looking at layouts and scenes, even though we haven't gotten to scenes yet. But we have basically found ways to be able to really make this thing our own, really have this thing have a look and feel that is custom. So if I were to even make that full screen so you could kind of see what it fully looks like without um, some of the other things on the sides, you can see that's a super custom look. And that's what it would look like to those who are watching your show um, on the other side, whether they're on Facebook or YouTube, LinkedIn or Twitter. The additional piece here would be scenes. And I'm not going to take a whole long time on scenes because I have a video that is really good and it's fairly new on scenes. But I do want to showcase what scenes look like. And so if I just go back to our main layout here, and of course, we would want to change our background back to the, the standard background on the left side of your screen, right where my mouse is closest to me, you'll see it says show scenes panel. When you 
when you pull that out, right, it brings up this whole set of 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 of, of whole uh, I guess area, a <laughs> blank area for those that don't have any scenes like me, um, and you can actually go in here and say, okay, I'm going to create a new scene. And so scenes to me is where you is the culmination of all the functions and features that we've been talking about. It's it's kind of like putting all of the pieces together. And this is where I always I always want to take a little bit of time to make sure that it's clear scenes kind of brings all the pieces together and allows you the functionality to have it all set and ready to go. So if I go to a scene and say um, new speaker view right in this scene. Right, I'm showing this scene on stage, and I can set up the scene the way that I want it. Okay, so in this scene, let's say I want this picture in picture, um, uh, you know, uh, this this circle picture with my presentation. All right, I'm going to do a new scene. I'm going to do. It doesn't matter which one you which one you select. You can decide what you want here. So show this on stage. Maybe I want this to be the group layout. Right, you can you can double click here to to dis define it group. Um, this one, we can say it is the presentation. And now that those are there, I can click between them, show this on stage, you see that it moves to this one, show this on stage, it moves to the, the other one. If I want to uh, set up a scene, uh, media presentation, we go to this, uh, this scene. And in this scene, I want the the uh, I want the video you know, the video to play, but I don't want necessarily want this tab and I want to kind of start it from the beginning. So I don't want this tab. Uh, I want the full thing, right? So I want the video to just play. So as we have, we're just going to play our video, right? So now I, if I click back over here, I have my group. When I click here, I have my presentation. I click Again, it's it just takes some of the guesswork out. It allows for you to have everything there. Now, the reason why this is working so smoothly, and I get this question all the time when it pertains to scenes, is because I already have my assets loaded into the studio. And I know for some people that that's a, that's a challenge because they don't, they're not able to load all the assets into the studio because they don't have maybe their guest or whatever in the studio yet. And so one of the things I've just tried to do is make sure I build in time into my, uh, my workflow to ensure that I have the guests in or have all my assets loaded and I can go through my scenes, make sure the scenes are set the way that I want them that nothing is missing so that when I go live everything just flows and everything just works I know this was a lot of ground that we've covered today honestly it has been uh, an amazing uh, series to go through I really hope that you'll come back and check out um, our video on scenes we're gonna have to do yet another uh, a video in this this understanding streamyard series but we'll need to do one specifically on on scenes. In fact, I'm just going to call it um, this: the Understanding Streamyard, the advanced version. <laughs> and I hope that uh, that will be meaningful for you. This has been phenomenal. It's been a time well spent. I hope that you'll leave us some comments below to say that whether you enjoyed it, if you have questions, if there's something I didn't quite touch on clearly enough. And I also hope that you'll join us for the um, your next video done masterclass. Let's remove the friction so your content can flow. And again, you can join us in this video right here. Grace and peace, fam.